Hi, baby. Babe, you're saying a lot, babe, but like you're saying, as far as us, like this being the end, that's not what you mean. Well, that's not what I want, but what I'm hearing is, um, yeah, this is deep, babe. <laughs> What I'm hearing is this, until somebody comes along that can give you the, the what you want, you know, what you deserve, I feel like, kind of like on standby, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's, that's really the truth, I mean, because, so, I, I just feel like I'm waiting, I'm waiting to get chopped. And, you know, that's not a good feeling at all. And it, it only, I only feel, it only, I only feel this way when times like today come around where you in so many words let me know that this is not enough for you. Um, you know, last week we didn't talk one time, but baby, you didn't call me either. You know what I mean? I mean, the only time we really communicated is when I texted you. You didn't even text me. And even when I did text you, your res your responses were, were quick. You were like, one word answers, yes, no, okay, I love you too. So I just felt like you were just busy with class and you do, you know, you're working to what you do. So I didn't want to be a pass or a whiny man. I just left it alone, I didn't bother you. Um, I'm okay with space. I can do, we can definitely communicate more. I wasn't, um, I'm not just fine with, you know, not texting you and distance and all of that, like you put it. I would like, you know, that's okay with me to, to, for us to talk more. I don't have no problem with that, but I'm not, I'm certainly not, um, what you, what you think I am. And fine, if, if, um, if your focus is way more like you put it, then I apologize. Maybe I'm wrong, but, um. When we have these conversations, I I I was thinking that when you when you say things like you already have what you want or what you need, if it, it didn't feel like you just meant in general, it just felt like you were talking about my my relationship with my wife, and that's what I that's how I took it. So, and I feel like you know, the only reason I said what I said is because I feel like you don't know what I have with my wife. But you know, I'm I'm wrong. I've been wrong before. All right, honey. I love you. It's a bad. It's a. It's a bad day around here. I just don't feel good. In terms of us, I feel like this is a, a dark time. I don't know why I feel that way. Hey. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I thought. Uh, I don't know. I just. What I do know is that there is love I'm thinking we can hold on to that we can salvage that I don't know I know I love you that's what I'm going to watch this video a couple of more times because you said a lot but you stuck on nasty and I apologize for saying nasty but yet you know you we talking about that you know nasty um you say you're not what I want. What I want is the Chanel that I met, who wasn't talking about my marriage. wasn't even That wasn't even a part of our conversation. Me being happy or not, you weren't concerned with that. You know, that that wasn't your conversation. Now, you feel like I'm happy, and that is a problem with us. Where it doesn't even matter if I'm happy or not. That has nothing to do with us. But in your mind, it does. You you feeling like he happy now, so he don't want me. That's not even the case. If I was happy or angry or mad or that had nothing to do with you. So it's a little frustrating to hear you constantly you're still going there when I, I'm telling you that's nothing to do with you. I don't know why we why are we doing that. But let me look at this video some more. Um yeah, all right. Hey, here I am. 
in my spot. I love you that much, baby. Feel it? Good. I'm thinking you said yeah. Because if you didn't say yeah, I'm going to have to beat you again. Because you've been so bad lately, you know? It's been wilding. <sighs> All right, baby. Here I am. This is me.